Hello, everyone. Today we're going to read Ordinary Mary's Extraordinary Deed to everyone. Um, in our group, we're going to talk about the word ordinary. What does that mean? That means not having any distinctive features, just normal. Our character is just Ordinary Mary, just a normal, everyday student. Um, right now, we thought it's not very ordinary, so this would be a good story to talk about some kind things to do for everyone in the community. Extraordinary, what does that mean? Very unusual or remarkable. Something that's special, something you can do for someone in our community. A deed is an action that is, is performed. Something for the good of the community. Helping people, maybe waving, smiling. Listen to our story today and find out all the extraordinary deeds from one kind deed that Ordinary Mary does today. Peyton, unmute. Ordinary Mary's Extraordinary Deed. Emily Pearson, illustrated by Fumi Kosaka. Ordinary Mary's was so very ordinary that, that you'd never guess she could change the world. This ordinary kid, she did. She changed the world. The ordinary day skipping on her way from her ordinary school to her ordinary house. She passed an ordinary va vacant, vacant lot filled with ordinary bushes, growing ordinary berries, ordinary blue and juicy, luscious, lovely berries. Well, ordinary Mary picked the ordinary berries and brought them in a big bowl to Mrs. Mrs. B Bishop's house porch. What? Left berries in big brown bowl on a Mrs. Bishop's porch. That sneaky kid, she did. This made Mrs. Bishop's berry very happy. So she baked a big batch of blue berry muffins and thought of five people who might have brought the, those beautiful berries, then secretly gave each a plate. How great! Five people. Ben? Ben's turn. Oh, yeah. Ben. How great, five people got a plate. One of those five was a paper boy, Billy Parker, and Billy saw his name on a note in the driveway on, on a plate. He quickly parked his bike and ate every crumb. Oh, yum, yum, yum. He ate every crumb. This made him so glad that he that the next five people got their newspapers on the porch and not in the bushes where he often threw them. In fact, they were handed right to them. Sean Moran, you have to unmute. Uh, sorry, uh. One of those five was Mr. Moore, who was so amazed that he smiled for 10 hours on the airplane, then said to five different people who had heavy bags, here, let me help you. He still smiled, and they did too. When he waved goodbye, Mario exclaimed, how strange that a stranger would be so kind. And the next day, when he was out shopping, once, twice, five times, he did something nice for five different people, five times without stopping. Chase, your turn. One of those five was Joseph, old and bent and gray, in front of her in line at the produce stand, when he said, I guess I counted wrong. I don't really need these oranges. Little James reached out to him with an orange from their basket, and Mario put a coin in Joseph's hand and said, here, take this. The oranges are on us. As Joseph shuffled to the bus, his heart was full and his eyes were wet and his hands dipped. dipped helpful things for the next five people he met.
One of those five was uh, a college girl who was off to see the world and stopped at Joseph's, at Joseph's shop when her bag broke and her things fell all over the floor. She said, oh, what will I do? Joseph said, this is for you. And he gave her a new bag woven with his own hands in red and purple and green. Oh, thank you, she said. It's the loveliest bag I've ever seen. When Sahara left, she felt sunny as noon, and she just had to shine on five people too. One of those five was Sophia. Rome she met on a boat, looking like the world might end, looking like someone without a friend. What beautiful blue eyes you have, Sahara said, and they are just the color of the flowers in your lovely dress. Yes, said Sof Sophia. On yes, oh yes, said Sahara. The beautiful blue eyes shed a tear, a happy tear, and when the boat trip through, Sophia called five people to make them happy too. Good job. Cassidy? <laughs> One of those five was Tom, who son the doctor. He was having a very hard day. Hi, she said. I love you, Tom. Well, how t how great to hear your voice, he sighed. I always need my mom. Dr. Tom was so cheered up that on his neck break, he bought a big bunch of red balloons for five young patients, and he handed them out right then and there. One of those five was Peter, a little boy who went home from the hospital that very day. Gratitude for for the big bunch of red balloons filled him and filled him and spilled out of him and on to the next five people who came his way. One of those five was Eric, a teenage boy whose whose sacks and such were way too much. When when one dropped on the sidewalk, Peter stopped his play and rushed over saying super real to the rescue well art no longer stressed was very impressed and made a mental note that very afternoon to help five people and do it soon great one of, one of those f five was d his 10 year old sister who didn't have many friends and was painfully shy. When Eric said, hey sis, do you want to come to the park and learn how to ride my skateboard? She looked at him wide-eyed. Serious? She cried. Sure, he said. And because of her brother, Dee decided maybe she could be a friend to another five others. One of those five was Louise, a homeless woman who lived under a tree. She could hardly believe her ears when she heard Dee say, may my brother and I buy you a hot dog and a drink at the stand over there? Could it be true? Someone actually cared, cared enough to give her food and a smiley face ring that was practically new. Louis, was so Louise was so pleased that she decided that even though she had nothing, she would find five others and give them something. Great. Amelia? One of those five was Amara, who lost her wallet in the park. Louise found it. It It full of fives and tens and twenties. Oh, what she could do with 
all that money, but she found Amara's name and called her home and over she came. Amara was so impressed that Louise was honest with money was some she clearly needed that she offered offered her a job in her store and vowed to do something generous for five people or more. John? One of those five was Kate, a woman on vacation who wanted to see a show she had heard was a sensation. Oh no, she said, it's sold out. But I'm going home tomorrow, and her face filled with sorrow. Amara held out her ticket. I live here, she said. I can go anytime. Take one. Kate loved the show and was so touched that she thought buying five presents for five people back home would really be fun. Where is he? I mean, was a little heart necklace for Mary. Her niece and you should have seen her eyes light up in surprise. Good job. Peyton? Peyton, unmute. Mary? What? Ordinary Mary. Yes, Ordinary Mary's extraordinary deed had come full circle, and on its way it had changed the lives of every person living. You see, when Mrs. Bishop uh, made muffins from Mary's blueberries, not only the paper boy Billy Parker, but the other four, too, made five people smile. And those five did, too. And after a while, it only, it, in only 15 days, love was sent to every person everywhere. Just see how it went. Well, 16, six, 6 billion is even more than all of the people in, on our planet. So after everyone had a chair and everybody knew that somebody cared, there was even love left over. The world was changed and thousands of millions and billions agreed was all was all because of it. One ordinary day. Ordinary Mary did a perfectly ordinary, stunningly earth shaking, totally extraordinary deed. What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? Amelia. What kind of deed can you do to change the world? Rosie. What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? Cassidy. What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? Braxton. What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? Ben. Unmute. What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? Peyton. What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? Jace. What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? What kind of deed can you do to help change the world? I hope you enjoyed our story today. And remember, one kind deed can change the world.